Little Wonders of the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches and Palm Beach County, the best way to experience Florida. Welcome to Little Wonders of the Palm Beaches. That's a face plant right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you never know what you'll find at the green market. Oh. <laughs> Who knew art could be so much fun? All right, you ready to paddle? Yeah, let's do it. When people aren't looking, sometimes I do this. Oh, oh my god. And then go back to making my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a long way down. This is the perfect spot for a selfie. <laughs> Today, we're going to learn how to surf. Let's get to it. Yeah, bruh. Check out the wild side of Palm Beach County. Woo! This is Little Wonders of the Palm Beaches. Today we're visiting Dagger Wing Nature Center, which is one of the 85 parks here in Palm Beach County. Right now we're at Burt Aronson South County Regional Park. It's about an 850 acre park located in West Boca. We've also got Dagger Wing Nature Center, which includes a 3,000 square foot exhibit that includes live animals, including snakes, alligator, there's a tennis learning center, and a water skiing school. And we've also got Coconut Cove Water Park across the street. I saw that. Yeah. If you want to check out one of our central regional parks, we've got Okahili Park in West Palm Beach. There's a lot to do there as well. There is a nature center, Okahili Nature Center, and you can get to know some of the animals. They've got a variety of raptor birds there that are very, very interesting. And there is also a BMX track and a water skiing facility. You can also take out your kayak or you can rent a kayak there. There is also a beautiful golf course, Okahili Golf Course. That's also a sanctuary for wildlife. We also have Du Bois Park, which is located in Jupiter. There is a lagoon there, as well as it connects to the Jupiter Inlet, which will take you out to Jupiter Beach Park, which provides opportunities for boating and kayaking and snorkeling. It's a very beautiful place to snorkel. There's also the Du Bois Pioneer Home located inside of the park. we head out west, there's a beautiful opportunity for camping out at South Bay RV Campground. You're just miles away from Lake Okeechobee, which will allow for opportunities for boating and kayaking and just spending time outdoors. You can go bird watching, you can, you know, take a peek at the alligators that are out there. So many unique opportunities to just get out and enjoy the gem that is the glades. So with 85 parks here in Palm Beach County, there's really something for everyone. It's spectacular. Yeah, we're so lucky to have all of these recreational opportunities. So we encourage everybody, regardless of what you like to do, just come out and play and relax and unwind. Little Wonders of the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches and Palm Beach County, the best way to experience Florida. We're back here with Reef Cavalin, our go-to water sports pro. So, tell me Reef, what are we going to be doing today? So today we're going to be doing a little bit of wakeboarding, some skimboarding behind the boat, and then we're also going to go try and surf behind the boat as well. How do you think I'll do? 
I think you'll get up. Might take a couple tries. <laughs> All right, let's do this. When you wakeboard, your feet are connected to your boots, which are then on your board, and you just do big airs behind the boat, 360s, 180s, try and get grabs, anything you can. I definitely will not be doing any of that today. All right. <laughs> Surfing will be on the smaller boat. It puts out a better wake. You just try and catch a wave and surf without using the rope as much as you can. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Put your board in front of you so it's facing us. There you go. Yeah, and then I'll put it into gear. And you'll feel it kind of pull up and you just go with it. All right, you ready? I'll go. She looks like she's done this before. So this is a lot easier than surfing behind the boat or other things. The board's attached to your feet. You don't have to go crazy fast. It's, it's pretty controlled. That's a face plant right there. How'd that one feel? My, I can't feel my face, but it's fine. <laughs> Try and lean back next time you do that. I can't wait to see that one in slow-mo. Keep a lot of weight on your back foot and you're good. Much more graceful. Good. Yeah. Great job out there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see you rip. All right, let's go do this. Wipeout. Another fun day out there. You're pretty good. <laughs> wow. You make me look really bad. <laughs> Takes a lot of practice, a lot of years of doing it.
Little Wonders of the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches and Palm Beach County, the best way to experience Florida. Today I've traveled to the southernmost point of Palm Beach County, Boca Raton Museum of Art, and I'm here with Fulia, who's going to tell us about this super cool museum. This is Boca Raton Museum of Art. We are located at the north corner of Meisner Park. We are a beautiful museum, not very large size. We are on two story. We usually show our traveling exhibitions, current exhibitions on the main floor galleries. And the second floor galleries, we have always the permanent collection is there. Right this moment on view, uh, traveling exhibition is Imagining Florida, the history and myth in the Sunshine State. We have upstairs on the second floor a part of this exhibition, Daniel Faust, the photography from the 1980s. The rest of them second floor is our permanent collection, which we have a contemporary art. We have a very nice glass studio. We have a pre-Columbian and African artwork. We have beautiful sculpture garden outside. And the sculpture garden is most popular for the children because this is the only place they can touch the artwork, they can enjoy. The kids love the sculpture garden. Also, we have a small auditorium at the back, which we usually have our jazz in the museum. We have just music, we have lectures, talks, beautiful events are going on at the museum also. And also we have a piano on the main floor. We have very nice classic music concerts. A lot of fun to That's be here. Really nice. <laughs> this is the most popular sculpture. Uh, located there at the entrance of the museum uh, called Marty's Cube and it is 1800 pounds. Wow, that's a big sculpture. <laughs> So whatever art you're into, you should come and check out the Boca Raton Museum of Art. Thank you so much, Fulia. You're Fulia. welcome, anytime. Come and visit us, please. Who knew art could be so much fun? <laughs>
of wading birds and wood storks nesting in very close proximity to the boardwalks. It's one of the most incredible spectacles. You know, wood storks traditionally nest right at the top of cypress trees, but for some reason, here at Wakoda Hatchie, they're nesting right next to you. And you get them doing the whole breeding display from the, the bull clapping of the adults. You see them mating on the nest, then bringing nesting material to the nests, and then incubating the eggs, and then bringing up these tiny baby fluff balls, the next generation of wood storks. And these were actually a federally endangered bird. And today their numbers have really come back thanks to the efforts and the protection that's afforded them in places like Green Cay and Wakoda Hatchie. So Dad, what are the special types of birds that we can see here? Well Gemma, you can see anything from migrating warblers in the spring and the fall, lots of tiny migrating songbirds, and then special birds like purple gallinule, which you'll see kind of crawling on some of the vegetation with those long, long bright legs and those beautiful iridescent blue bodies. And then birds like black-bellied whistling ducks. In winter you can find hard to see species like American bittern. And then also tiny skulking species like Sora rails can also be found here. You've been taking me here since I was a little kid. Tell me why this place is so good for people of all ages. Well, you know, people that want to go and experience wildlife will often travel far afield. They'll go to places like Africa to see the Great Migration or South America to go and see birds and otters and wildlife like that. But few people realize that there's amazing wildlife right on our doorstep here in Palm Beach County. You never know what you're going to see when you come here. And I've got to say that every single time I've been here, I've seen something really interesting. So it's just a treasure trove of wildlife. This just shows you how close you can get to the wildlife here. They're so accustomed to people walking on these boardwalks. Here we've got a green heron that was just perched on the boardwalk and he's now just flown off to go and do some fishing. We're here at Green Cay Wetlands, which is a five minute drive from Wakoda Hatchie. Dad, what's the difference between Green Cay and Wakoda Hatchie? Well, I would combine the two of them on any birding trip to Palm Beach County. They're so close to each other, they have a similar suite of birds and wildlife, but really the difference is that Green Cay offers an interpretive nature center where you can learn about the wildlife here. They also have volunteers that will actually guide you around the little reserve and show you different kinds of wildlife. Another great feature is they have bird feeders and in winter you can come here and watch beautiful painted buntings and other songbirds feeding from the bird feeders and also a butterfly garden. A true amazing spectacle for anybody coming to the Palm Beaches. This urban birding enclave provides habitat for such a diversity of birds from all the different wading birds to shorebirds that flock here in the winter time and then also to all the waterfowl. We have great opportunities to see black-bellied whistling ducks and then of course the beautiful roseate spoonbills that will come here and occasionally a peregrine falcon or a merlin will take up residence here too, taking advantage of the bounty of bird life that exists here at Green Cay Wetlands. One of the fantastic things about Green Cay Wetlands is that every single time I come here, I see something unique and something different. Whether it's the time several years ago that I sat and watched a huge alligator tear apart a bobcat in the middle of urban Boynton Beach, or whether it was the time that I got within feet of an American bitten. This place always has something really special to see, and that's why I love coming to Green Cay. Besides Wakoda Hatchie and Green Cay, what are some other awesome birding spots in Palm Beach County? 
Well, Gemma, Palm Beach County is so diverse in terms of wildlife. So whether it's Jonathan Dickinson State Park up in the north of the county where you can view scrub jays and other incredible birds, to the lost scenic trail of Lake Okeechobee where you can enjoy some of the water life on the lake, there's just so much that this fantastic county has to offer. You know, Wakodahatchee and Green Cay wetlands truly are little wonders of the Palm Beaches.